Hey, John, what do you think is one of the most important things when you're creating a, a piece of art? By far, composition. Oh, yeah. You're, you're probably right. Oh, we are two brothers! And we really, we really like art! Yeah, we do. Today we're going to be talking about composition. That's right. Mm -hmm. And as you can see by that poorly framed shot of us in the beginning, composition is important. Sorry about that. We hope that got it in it's your It's a brain. good illustration. It is a good illustration. I mean, it, sometimes there's happy it's accidents. Important. Happy <laughs> yeah, it's little true. accidents. It's true. Yeah. Now, see, composition basically being, you know, what's the layman's terms? Where you put stuff. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. And how you put it there. Yeah. Um, so it, it does entail quite a bit. Mm -hmm. It's not just... Uh, there's a lot of layers to it. Yeah, there's yeah. a lot of layers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Many layers. <laughs> no, I, I didn't even mean that pun, but that was good. Yeah. A lot of layers to composition. <laughs> I didn't even mean that. Whoa. <laughs> yes. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> but today we're going to be talking about the, the value layer. Values. Yeah, we're going to talk about values. And when we say values, if you don't know, we basically just mean how like dark or light something is, how bright or how dark it is. Yeah. So yeah. we're going to be talking about that. And that's, we want to focus, we're, we might do a, like kind of a little series on these and, and we want to, you know, kind of take apart composition and, and just focus on one aspect at a time. It's a little bit easier that way. Yeah, there's some other good yeah. elements to composition, yeah. too, that we can cover as yeah. well. But yeah, but we're just going to talk about values it's today. It's all so about we, values. Yeah, so, you know, artists will design their images with shapes of value in mind. Mm -hmm. So we want to start showing you guys some people that you may or may not know mm -hmm. and uh, and just kind of describe what they're doing with their values. So we'll start off with uh, with Dean Cornwell. Good old Dean Cornwell. He's a master. I love him. Yeah, he was so Absolute good. Absolute master. Yeah, so there's, this is crazy. This is like... Uh, I don't know what's going on there, but something crazy going on there. Yeah, I don't know, but uh, somebody's about to get stabbed. <laughs> yeah. She's going she's gonna to throw it down on yeah. that guy. Yeah. Look out. So th one of the interesting things you see, you know, is is contrast is always going to bring the viewer's eye there. So you've got this guy who is pretty much all in dark value, and he's up against... Uh, his head, especially, is up against the light value behind mm. it. Mm -hmm. And so that instantly pops out his silhouette and brings him forward in the composition and makes him a primary, it makes him the primary focus, you know, along with that lady who also is lighter in value, but then she's up against the dark on her, on our left side, on her right side, but mm -hmm. she's That's up against that dark. That's dark. And shadow. it pops her out as well, you yeah. know. Did you do a pencil? Did you do a pencil study? I this? did do a pencil study that I'll show you. You know, yeah, I was kind yeah, of okay. breaking down, trying to break down. What, uh, what, what's going on with the values and how he how he layered things and how he thought about things. That's you know, fantastic. And, yeah, and 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 the interesting thing about this too is if you look at his genius, you know, you can see that kind of picture frame behind her shoulder. Mm -hmm. You know, if if he would have stayed the same value, if there would have been no break between that his value and the value of the picture frame, mm -hmm. then it would have kind of just gelled and it would have liked, looked like kind of like it was coming out of his head. You wouldn't have yeah. that, that space. Yeah. So Cornwell, in his genius, put that light in the top Give there. and Yeah, and he's got that highlight on the top of his head and that separates him from that frame in the background or whatever that is and then and then pushes him forward in space. One more thing about this painting too yeah. that I really like. Yeah. You know, the subject matter, what's going on is obviously mm -hmm. intense here. Right. It, you can almost draw a diagonal line from the top right to the to the bottom left right and see that this painting is split yeah and and the dark yeah. to light value and just accentuating the rift right. that's between these two people that the right con yeah the conflict that's, that's great that's great that's a that's a really good, uh, good way you can see that the overall value structure is re it's emphasizing the right. purpose of the of the painting so. and we weren't talking color now but right the red and that is really something yeah yeah, yeah we'll exactly. get to that later yeah <laughs> okay <laughs> So Next Dore, guy. yeah, Dore is a great one Fantastic. if you're trying to break down the principles of composition. We, you know, there's a really good blog post on Muddy Colors blog, which is a great one, and they talk about yeah. you know how everything's broken down into you know a black and then a gray and a white, you mm -hmm. know, kind of three different values that people will separate things. And Dore is doing that here. You can see the real clear silhouette of the horse and the rider, and then you've got that gray mentor, and you've got the light in the background, mm -hmm. you know, and so it's it's very very clear, and you know right where the focal point is. It's right there with that guy. His silhouette. You know, yeah. we've talked about this before, his silhouette being a silhouette that just is, is really just punching that figure out, bringing him to the mm -hmm. forefront. Mm -hmm. Interesting, though, you know, because a lot of times people won't think of using black as the foreground. Right, you right. You know, they want to light that character light. right yeah. in the front. Mm -hmm. But obviously, it's working here, right. and you don't need exactly. to do that. So exactly. that's, it's a really great example of using those three yeah. 
yeah. three uh, different shades. So now we'll look at somebody who kind of throws that information out and, <laughs> and, and kind of puts all, uh, jams all the yeah. values really close together in really. order to get like a sensitive kind of ghost-like mm -hmm. uh, it look ghostly. to it. Yeah, and, and it also gives him, when he keeps those values closer to the mid-range, he actually gets more room to maneuver with color. Mm -hmm. um, now I know we're not talking about color, but I think that was we'll part of his intention. Yeah, you know. <laughs> but yeah, you can see how close the values are. But yet he waits and and punches the value on the dresses and on the skin tone of these women to to you know bring them forward. Same thing in this one. Yeah. You know where you know you can see that obviously she's sticking out because you have this large mass. It's huge. Know. I mean, it's yeah. really it's like over fifty percent of the painting. Right. Is this huge dark mass, mm -hmm. and which allows him to yeah. to to uh, punch this lady's values up? Right, real and, dream, yeah. dreamy. Yeah, yeah, dream totally. Like. Yeah, he's, he squeezes those values to get it to have mm -hmm. that emotional effect. Oh, uh, here's one of my favorites too. Oh, yeah. I love oh, yeah. NC Wyeth. Yeah, love me too. Wyeth. Me too. Awesome. This this particular painting, I think, is from uh, of course from Robin Hood mm -hmm. when he was illustrating mm -hmm. Robin Hood. Yeah, and again, just like the uh, Dore mm -hmm. piece that we saw. You look at these archers and they're just bam, they're just like yeah, punched out. Yeah. And really distinct silhouette, really um, easy to read mm -hmm. right away. Yeah. And also, too, the whole shape of this painting, the tree trunk moving down to the left to the mm -hmm. rock and then using that sapling, yeah. uh, the dark sapling on the left to, to shoot up towards the uh, mm -hmm. upper other corner mm -hmm. and then the leaves taking you and that branch coming off the top yep, of it. Yep. Back again, round yeah, and round right, we right, go. Right, right, exactly. And it's just a real pleasant yeah. trip for your eye yeah. and yeah. all that has to do with these values. And plus, I love the light dappled. Yeah, yeah, it's awesome. It's, it's really, awesome. it's really, awesome. really cool. It's awesome. Love NCY. It does that quite a bit. So we've been talking about people that are basically in the late 1800s and early 1900s. But now we're going to switch and talk about people that are putting this to use right now. And I, ah. and I had mentioned to you guys before that I like to highlight people that are up-and-comers, that are really good and that work oh, yeah. hard. And oh, yeah. we've got one today. His name is John Nymeister, and he is... Our artist spotlight. Our artist spotlight. All right. Yeah, and he's phenomenal. So we're going to show some of his images. And so yes. we'll show the first one. Now you can see if this is a good segue from you know oh NCY. the archer we the got the archer, archer theme going yeah, yeah okay this is what that robin hood guy was probably shooting at these these creatures with like crazy cool tridents maybe <laughs> <laughs> you can see it, he's putting all this to practice you can see very clearly the you know uh the dark that's used there on that bow and then he of course that's where the sky gets light right right behind that bow so you can mm -hmm. punch it forward mm -hmm. same thing with that guy's fist that's there on, on yeah. this particular image and and yeah. the dark in the foreground this time, like we, what Absolutely. you were talking oh, about. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, again, yeah, really dark, of course. Mm -hmm. Almost, uh, you, you have to almost look at it twice to see right. the details. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah. Mm -hmm. the angles in this, too, are, are really something. And I think we can right. maybe address that more yeah. when we talk about yeah. line. Yeah, but yeah. But the really a lot going on there. Now too. this one, yeah, this one is definitely, this one strikes me, it's uh, quite a bit like a Dore, like almost like oh, yeah. how it's designed, you know, because he's got that fist. And the knife right there, just right in your face, that dark against that light. I mean, yep. you can't get much more contrast than that. But then you take a look at what he did with the two guys that are leaning up against that tree. In the background. In the background, right. And, you know, what he did there, it's it's really interesting because he made the values of those guys as a whole lighter so that they would fall back in space and you'd get that 3D effect. And then also you got the silhouette of the, you know, of just the... Stand out. It, it, you know, it is. It puts in your mind that values can create a, a cast of characters yeah. in your piece. Mm -hmm. So you have your your main character, right, right, and right. You right. have your supporting. Yeah, cast. that's a really good way to, to think about uh, it. You know, yeah. in the background, pumping mm -hmm. those values up along with one of the planes, whether it be foreground, yeah. midground, yeah. or background, mm -hmm. can can um, bring someone to the front of the stage, push them back mm -hmm. to the back of the stage, yeah. things like that. Yeah, I just great. want to mention one more thing. Yeah. Um, about these two paintings in particular, and I think. It's worth noting. Um, you'll notice on on the uh, we'll flash it up again too. You notice the on the first uh, painting with the those dragon men, the trident, and the archer. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of angles going on. Yeah. Angular bow, angular trident, right, angular architecture right, right. with the, with the uh, at least the uh, the block on the bottom of yeah, the, of the yeah, architecture, yeah. even mm -hmm. the teeth and things like that. Mm -hmm. Really, all the shapes, all the even shapes the value support shapes each other are, are very yeah, are very yeah. angular. Yeah, and then you come over to the shaman with mm -hmm. the guys with the horns, and they're sweeping forms. Yeah, yeah. The the magic, the horns, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the the scarf on yeah. the staff, all mm -hmm. sweeping forms yeah. and their value and their shape. Yeah. So really, really interesting to see how John yeah. has. Um, constructed these things of course that's all on yeah purpose. And, and yeah it's all on purpose and, and that's what we want to kind of get across to you guys is is that 
these images were this way, not because not by random, but they were designed that way. Mm -hmm. So when you're sitting down to create a composition, you know, create a thumbnail, take that time, practice that, or it, you know, even if you know, do this, do more thumbnails, yeah. like work out more ideas and practice that. And and I'm actually gonna do, I'll do a little demo of, uh, I'm trying to do a thousand composition Ugh. studies. You know, I'm trying to, you're trying to do it. Just oh take a master painting and try to. Copy it for what it is. Marshall Vandruff turned me on to that, but um, <laughs> yeah, that, it's gonna take me a while. But I'll put it, I'll post up a demo of that, and, um, and well, we'll you talk know, about that. another yeah. thing too is uh, uh, um, we were just talking about this in the mm. class I teach. Shout out to my art class. Yeah, hey. <laughs> um, we were talking about composition. One of the things I had them do is take paintings like this, mm. any of these really, and do thumbnails themselves. Yeah. On them. So yeah. it's a good exercise to actually go and look at paintings that have a good value scheme yeah. and mm. reduce them down to a thumbnail and just do a value yeah. thumbnail real yeah. quick yourself. And it's it's just you know it's just a good exercise that part of your brain again to do that exactly and understand how they put together the compositions so yeah. so okay so practice the composition guys keep mm -hmm. it in mind when you're creating your work keep it in mind when you're creating that story that you want mm -hmm. people to read when yeah. you're when you're creating your artwork yeah create 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 that's a uh, word no. of the day that's what that's what art is <laughs> it's creative you remember um a mark his name was mark it was commander mark remember the draw squad that's what he used to say at the end of every show. Draw, draw, draw. Practice your drawing 20 to 30 minutes every day, and I'll see you next time. <laughs> no well, clue, I am a little older than you, anyway. <laughs> We're on, uh, as you can see, Instagram, <laughs> Facebook, and Twitter, and our, our email is there as well. Please, please continue to give us comments. Mm -hmm. Continue to give us um, your feedback on the yeah. show, things that you'd like to see. We've gotten some questions, and hopefully we've answered them for you. Um, in the last couple of weeks. We appreciate everything you have to say. But mm -hmm. thanks very much. And keep drawing, guys. Keep yeah. creating. Work on those compositions. Yes.